Shelter in Lodi is no longer accepting animals as the facility now finds itself at capacity. There's been a, a lot of strays out there and um, more animals being brought. So officers say they only have room to house 15 cats and about two dozen dogs. But since the new year, that number has grown. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Lodi to show us inside. Yeah, there's not a lot of room inside the Lodi Animal Shelter, so workers are doing what they can to help find these animals a forever home. She's playful and loving. When Melissa Spruill found out the Lodi Animal Shelter was at full capacity, she wanted to swing by and see if she can help. She's been wanting to adopt a second dog for a while. It's sad. I wish more people would adopt older dogs as opposed to puppies. Uh, a lot of people tend to go for the puppies. Workers are making some rearrangements to their setup to prevent the animals from being euthanized. The small dogs are now paired up in one large cage. So are the cats. <coughs> There's also an urgent call to the community. Yeah, I like uh, Titus. He's been here for a while. So we're going to check her out. I heard she's loving. Animal service officers say adoptions in 2018 were low, but the number of strays and abandoned pets have gone up. One reason they say some owners just can't afford it and end up leaving them at the shelter's front door. Right now, being that there's been a, a lot of strays out there and um, more animals being brought to where we're trying to determine whether they're brought in from the city of Lodi or if they're bringing in from the county. This is a kill shelter. Officers say about 3% of its animals were euthanized last year, 10% in 2017. They do work with rescue groups to help get animals moved around, sometimes out to different cities where there's more room and demand. A lot of Animal Services Foundation have been able to fund money to lower the cost of the adoptions, meaning they're helping spay and neuter the animals. And some good news today, at least two of the dogs were adopted, but there are plenty of other dogs and cats waiting for forever homes. The shelter will be open this weekend. All right, Carlos, thank you. So the animals find homes right now.